Hi, today I want to talk about uh, two cameras from a company called Reconyx. These are digital game cameras, 3.1 megapixel. Uh, they've been around about three or four years. Uh, I've been using the RC55 for about four years now, and the RC60 um, probably for about three. Uh, they're pretty much identical cameras. The main difference is uh, the Covert has an all-black lens over the uh, IR ray, so it's not visible by the human eye. Um, the RC55 is visible. It's uh, basically like a bright red light blinking, so I don't really use a lot of these anymore. Uh, invested more money in the RC60s because I like how they're pretty much can't be seen at all. Um, I'm just going to go over basically the parts of the menus as far as uh, the internal features of the camera and in a later video I'll go over setting up the camera you know in the wild. Uh, I've got a card off screen here with the notes that I'm going to basically uh, refer to from the manual. Uh, so um, pretty much they're three megapixel cameras. Um, they turn on in a fifth of a second when uh, some when motion is detected or heat from an animal or human if you're using them for uh, security reasons. Um, and kind of real quick talk about that, even though they're they're for mostly hunters or researchers, uh, there's a lot of uses for them. Uh, for security reasons, I've heard them being used in businesses uh, to maybe catch people breaking in. Um, you can use them around your home. You know, uh, there's a big problem with people stealing copper these days, so you can maybe set one up covertly in, in your yard or around your business to you know catch somebody um, but mostly the uses that I've seen them for are hunting um, and a lot of research projects around the world with wildlife from uh, Africa with lions and um, hard to find animals down the Amazon um, so anyway uh, one of the main features that's really liked about this camera is it has a rapid fire sequence which means it just shoots uh, about a frame per second um, and it just keeps going if you set it up for that and uh, until basically the animal or object uh, moves out of the scene um, the camera uses a compact flash card um, anywhere from two gigabytes upwards to 32 uh, that's a lot of pictures uh, four gigabyte is going to be in the neighborhood of 10 to 15,000 images. So if you're using a 32 gigabyte card, uh, you're going to have a lot of pictures to wade through. But if you can't be around your camera for a long period of time, that may be uh, a better way to go. Uh, the memory cards have come down in price quite a bit lately. So a 32 gigabyte, you could probably pick up in the $100 range. Um, but basically, the, the cameras use um, different types of batteries. You can use uh, standard alkaline C batteries and the cameras use six of those or one of the features that I prefer is the lithium energizer ultimate series and with six of these you could run this cameras camera about upwards to one year um, or if you have a lot of activity you know cut that time down but uh, another advantage to the lithium batteries is in very cold temperature, like we are here today, uh, here in Dallas it snowed, um, you, you'd be looking at running the cameras no problem. Uh, you're going to have a lot of, a bit of trouble running them with the sea alkaline in the colder temperatures. So I'd invest in the lithium double A's. Uh, Reconyx does sell uh, some adapters and basically they're a tube of plastic that you put the uh, three lithium batteries together in a line and uh, that will allow the camera to um, you know be able to run these batteries if you can't get any of these adapters in your crunch you can actually tape these in a series and place those in the channel of the camera and uh, which I, I did when I first got them and it works fine uh, it's just a ten dollar investment for those tubes so if you choose to go that way I think it's a good option so uh, basically, uh, let me touch on some of the points of the camera. Um, basically, a, uh, let's see the range of the camera. It's about 50 to 60 feet with the RC55 around nighttime. During the daytime, depending on weather conditions and temperature, 
uh, probably could maybe double that or uh, cut it down a bit. Uh, with the 60, you're looking at only uh, 30 to 35 feet of um, range at night and a little bit more during the day depending on temperature. Um, basically, let me show real quick about loading the batteries. Well, first, we have this door that you remove and you have a latch here. So you just pull down and in and the door comes off. There is a, a rubber seal in here, so that's what's going to protect the batteries and the compact flash card. So, you know, just try to keep that as clean as possible. Um, you have an on-off switch, uh, the control keys, and the OK button, and your LCD panel for setting up your menus and uh, all the different modes you prefer. You know, you might want to run it in. But uh, basically, just take the C battery, and I'll do this upside down, it's a little easier. You just uh, put it down in the uh, channel. And it's a little tough here at the end. You gotta pull back a little bit on this metal plate that holds the battery secure. And now we're ready to go. Got a compact flash card. Uh, one big thing about these cards is um, SanDisk is a preferred card. I rather really use today. I'm using a Lexar just for demonstration purposes. Uh, the SanDisk Ultra 2 has been a great series. And a little bit, if you're going to use the rapid fire mode, uh, the faster the card or um, the higher speed rating the card has, the better it's going to do in uh, faster recording times for pictures for you. So, you know, if, you're, if you need that fast mode, I'd, you know, definitely uh, look at getting those cards. There's a small throat down here. You just place the card in. You press up. And now we're ready to go. Basically, you turn the camera on, and you would go through the menu here to set up the camera, and okay to basically get out of each series once you've set that up. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see the camera on, on my camera, so I'm not really gonna go through as far as showing you how to do that, maybe at a later video if I can. And then once you're done, you take the door, and you have a little channel here that the door kind of swings in, and just kind of hold it firmly and press back on that and, and you're ready to go. Um, let's see, um, just go a little bit more over the batteries. Uh, you can use the alkaline, which I put in, and they run pretty good around 20 degrees Fahrenheit, or down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, or seven degrees Celsius. You're looking at about six to 10 weeks of use out of uh, those batteries. And um, let's see, the C cell, uh, you can get rechargeables, uh, nickel metal hydride uh, batteries. You're looking at about those running down to a minus 20 degree cool weather or minus 29 degrees Celsius and about four to eight weeks of use out of those batteries. Um, or by using the uh, lithium 6AA Energizer Ultimate Lithium batteries, you're looking at down to minus 40 degrees or minus 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, this is all for the manufacturer, so I'm going off their specs. And you're looking at about 8 to 12 weeks of use, but I have gotten upwards of 6 months worth of use out of those lithiums and still plenty of battery life, up to 70% or more, depending on how many pictures the camera took. Um, let's see, uh, go over the trigger speed on these. Uh, you have a sensitivity you can set your camera at. You're going to have to basically pick which one you prefer. Uh, you have a low a low medium, a medium, uh, a medium high, a high and a very high setting you can use it at. Um, for your picture interval, you have either you can pick rapid fire uh, or uh, wait your picture, your camera wait one second and shoot another three seconds, five seconds or ten seconds. Um, and then you have either a quiet period between pictures and you can choose no or 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, or five minutes. Um, and uh, I'll continue this video because that's been about 10 minutes.